don't know if anybody here travels extensively for work. Anybody have a job where they travel extensively? Yeah, you do? Yeah, what do you do for work, sir? I'm a consultant. Okay. Oh, okay. What is your name, sir? Caleb. Caleb. All right. Caleb the consultant. <laughs> so, if you're unlike Caleb and myself, maybe you travel once or twice a year, do professional travels like Caleb and myself a favor. Don't. Stay home. Okay? A lot of rules at the airport, and you guys don't know them. And then you get in Caleb and I's way. We know what we're doing. Every weekend, Caleb, you can attest to this, we still are stuck behind a person still trying to get a 70 ounce bottle of Perk Plus on the plane. Every weekend. Every weekend. How come? Why? Why? Like, it's got to be three ounces. We made that rule a long time ago. Three ounces. I don't know where you're going. You need that much Perk Plus, but you're going to have to throw that away. And I have a thing called TSA pre-check. Maybe you have it too, Caleb. TSA pre-check. You don't have to take off shoes, kind of zip right through. But every airport's different. So I have to ask every airport. I'm like, do I have to take off my belt? Like, only if it's got metal on it. You mean like every belt ever made? Yeah, yeah. That's how it works. You know, with the metal. It's, it's a belt. I'm not a scarecrow. You saw the pants with a piece of rope. It's a belt. I don't trust that TSA, man. I think we're just lucky at this point, right? You see those people, like, when's my break? They don't care. <laughs> and then once you're in the airport, what happened? Like, you, you guys understand the airport's a public place, right? You guys know it's a public place? You know that? Do you guys know that? You know people can see you and what you're wearing in the airport? Do you know that? Because I don't think you do. I see some things. And... Listen, I know air travel's uncomfortable. I get it. Doesn't mean you could show up to a public establishment in your pajama pants and slippers. Like, you see the people with their house pillow? The, the adults, they take their pillow from their bed, their home pillow, out of the house. Could you imagine taking your home pillow out of the front door of your house, across the front lawn, into a car. You sit in a car with your home pillow. You drive all the way to the airport. You park the car. You get out. You walk into the airport with your home pillow. Because you have a two-hour layover, and God forbid you stand upright for two hours. God, i got to lie down on the floor of a carpeted public establishment. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I must be exhausted. Go ahead, lie down. Yeah, right there. Right there. Go ahead. No, that's fine. Right there. Perfectly fine. Right there in front of Panda Express. Go ahead, lie down. Yeah, that's fine. When did that become acceptable? Just lie on the floor. You're tired? Lie down. Why not do it everywhere? Do it everywhere. A restaurant. I'll have a table for two. Table for two will be about an hour wait. An hour? I'll just lie here. That's fine. I'll just... <laughs> fully committed. Fully committed. Fully, fully committed to that joke, people. Fully committed. I didn't have to, honestly. I could have pretended to lie down. I could have mimed it. I did not get all the way down. Think it's easy to get up in these skinny jeans? It's not, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs>